With pressing playing a huge role in today's game, determining when the right time to engage is really important. To help us with this, we can use pressing triggers. We can use pressing triggers when pressing from our high block or pressing from our mid block. And that's what we're going to have a look at in today's video. As always, I will leave timestamps and chapters below. I'm Coach Reese. I'll see you on the tactics board. So what are pressing triggers? Well, pressing triggers are actions by the attacking team that indicate an opportunity to either press or move the defending team, so the pressing team forward. And by moving the pressing team forward, we're looking to restrict space or potentially block passing lanes to limit the attacking team's ability to move the ball forward. An important pressing trigger, and the first one that we're going to take a look at, is a receiving player's first touch. And when we're thinking about a first touch, we're thinking about things such as, is the first touch poor? Or is the receiving player receiving the ball on their weaker foot? So not only do we make an assessment of the receiving player's first touch, we also might need to assess the ball that the player is receiving. So potentially a pass in the air might be a little bit more difficult to control. Anytime a receiving player receives the ball and they require multiple touches before they're able to release the ball or play forward, as a pressing team, this is really important because it gives us valuable seconds to potentially close down this player or look to block any potential passing lanes that this receiving player might look to use once they've been able to correct and they start to look to release the ball. Building on from this, we can think about whether or not the receiving player is receiving with their back to goal. And this is quite important because, as before, a player receiving with their back to goal is going to require multiple touches to potentially turn around before they're able to play forward. So a common trend with a player receiving with their back to goal is to play backwards. This can potentially provide us with an opportunity to win the ball, but more importantly it will provide us with an opportunity to move the team forward. And as we move the team forward we can start to restrict any space that the opposition might look to play through. The next thing that we can start to think about is we can think about the type of passes that the attacking team are using along with the speed of the attacking team's play. As we've just mentioned, a backwards pass is a pressing trigger. Also, a sideways pass is a pressing trigger. When we're thinking about the type of pass and the speed of the attacking team's play, from a pressing point of view, it gives us an opportunity to anticipate where the attacking team might look to play or any future passes that they may look to use. Once we can begin to anticipate where the attacking team might look to play, we can either look to potentially engage a receiver of the ball, or we can look to block any future passing lanes to restrict the attacking team's ability to move the ball forward. And the final pressing trigger that we're going to take a look at is one that we've mentioned throughout many a video on this channel, and that is pitch location. And when we're thinking about pitch location, we're thinking about receiving players receiving up against touch lines. A player receiving up against the touchline will have their passing options limited. So they may only be able to play forwards, backwards or infield. And from a pressing point of view, this is a really good place to try and win the ball. Because we don't require as many players to potentially be involved in the press because we don't have as many passing options to limit. Pressing triggers are incredibly important when looking to win the ball or when looking to initiate a press. They can be really helpful, especially when pressing from within a mid block. As always, I do hope you found the video useful. If you have, I do have a Kofi page if you'd like to support myself and the channel. A huge thank you to those that have already done so. I do also have a match analysis template that's available through my Gumroad page. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I've been Coach Reese. Have a great day.